Welcome to the Tale of Two Smitties. We're Cody and Laura, and if you're new here, let's catch you up. Before winter, we bought a school bus, a big, yellow school bus. Cody flew out to Phoenix with Laura's dad, Grant, to make the drive back to downtown Dallas. Since then, we've been plugging away on our schoolie bus conversion, turning a bus into a tiny home on wheels. We took out the seats, fixed the lock on the front door, took out a heater, put in a subfloor, and more. Much, much, much more. We've had help from both of our dads, Cody's dad, Wayne, and Laura's dad, Grant. So, if you'd like to follow along on our journey towards bus life, click subscribe and sit back, relax, and enjoy the tale of two Smitties. Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to the bus. Uh, this week's project is going to be getting the gas line installed for the hot water heater and the stove. So we're going to be running some flexible gas line under the bus from where the propane tanks will sit uh, to both those appliances. So uh, let's get started. Hey, if you're not subscribing already, go ahead and click subscribe, follow along our journey, and click the bell so you get notifications every time we post a new video. For our propane system, we installed half-inch corrugated stainless steel tubing, or CSST. And we chose it because it's flexible and it's easier to work with than like a black iron pipe. time to install some nail plates. Nail plates are really important because when you put the walls up, you're not gonna be able to see where the gas, water, and drain lines are, and it'd be really easy to put a screw or a nail through one of these lines. Nail plates will prevent that from happening. Here my dad's putting a fitting on the end of the gas line. And I'll be honest, I don't know much about the fittings for gas lines. I think maybe it's a compression fitting. Actually, if you know what these are, would you drop it in the comments below? So here's another fitting. This is a T fitting, and while I don't know how the fittings are actually put on, I do know that the T helps gas flow to the water heater from the rest of the line, which is pretty simple. That's what he's installing here. All right, guys, so gas is uh, roughed in. We've got uh, all the fittings in place. And uh, starting here, starting here with the range the, for the Furion. And then moving over here to the propane, uh, the propane water heater. So we're using half inch CC, <laughs> C at half inch CSST uh, flexible pipe. Uh, it's a corrugated pipe uh, with a co coating on it, and uh, that's what we're using. So, got it roughed in, got it in through the wall here in the bathroom, all the way through the back, 
probably saw us doing that. And now we're gonna go underneath and take a look at where the uh, propane tanks can hang and uh, see about drilling up through the floor to make that connection. So here we go. All right, so we are under the bus to take a look at where we can hang the propane. And if you notice, there's plenty of room back here. It's just about finding the right spot. Oh yeah. Flashback. That little seal was popping up. End of flashback. The two by four of the bed. bed is. This is where your bed is. The bed frame okay. is right here. Okay. Okay, so yeah, from so. here over is what I'm thinking the door needs to be to put the propane. Okay. Now can we put it under there? Um, oh and that's a bracket right there. That's perfect. Like we can hang on here, right? Yeah, we can run that across there to both. To both okay. that one and this one. Yep. That's not a problem. morning. Well, another successful day at the bus. We got some work done on the propane uh, tanks where those are going to hang. That's right down here. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Welcome back. We just got back to the bus from Lowe's and we are going to finish the little hanging area for the propane tanks. Got the hardware as we needed and our fearless leader, Wayne. Cody's dad is gonna fix that up for us.
if you watched our video last week, you knew that the challenge I'm doing this month is Plastic Free July, which means no water bottles, but it's so hot, so Yeti break. Good morning. So we got uh, the propane regulator in yesterday and uh, that's going to allow us to connect our two propane tanks uh, to our propane system. So uh, they're 20 pound propane tanks, which is what you'd see under a grill. We're going to go get those now. by Taco Diner. taco, crispy chicken enchilada, crispy brisket enchilada, and polanca enchilada with black beans y rolls, which is, and rice for those non-Spanish speakers. Or are you Spanish speaker? <laughs> we got there. Mambo taxi. If you know, you know. What do you order there? Oh yeah, queso blanco. 
2000 years later. Alright, well, we just got some ice cream. We're all done with dinner, we're heading home. I think we're gonna leave you here. But uh, thanks for checking out the video, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Thank you.